can save the day. Welcome to Mighty House. This is a radio show for people with problems. Home improvement problems, that is. And for people who want common sense guidance on how to build green and live a more sustainable lifestyle. Send an email or call into the show. The Mighty House crew is on the job. This is Mighty House. All right. Hey, we're back today. And uh, check this place out. Sonar, Sonar found this lighthouse for us to shoot in. And yep. uh, this, this is great. I'm not sure, exactly sure. Where are we, Sonar? We are in That's a lighthouse. A, in, in Sanibel. Sanibel Lighthouse in Florida. Oh, Man. excellent. Yeah, no, this place is great. Thanks for getting this uh, shot. You're for welcome. Us. I, I know people, you know. I, I know You've people. got connections, I brother. I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> so I want to say thanks to the design uh, Niles Design District for uh, helping us out. And uh, go to NilesDesignDistrict.com for more information. We also have right down below there a link to their website. So go check them out, NilesDesignDistrict.com. Also, Absolutely. make sure you click on the subscribe button and click the little bell so you're notified the next time we post another topic. And if you've got a topic you want us to talk about, uh, just send us a quick note. Rich loves getting emails. So rich at yes, mightyhouse.net. And uh, you can send him a note or just post that down below. And we'll also take that topic and, and run with it. So with yeah. that, I want to give you what a little What are we talking about today? Oh, light bulbs. That's, I think that's why he brought us here to this lighthouse. Now, we don't have bulbs this big, but we've got light bulbs. You know, these, these incandescent bulbs that we used to use all the time. And then they mm. came out with LED bulbs, and they're like, everybody's oh, no, I can't, you, I can't well, stand Well, oh, actually, we had the CFL that we all had right. to have. And one, then of these, one of these. Oh. Uh, that, like, yeah. That's like a CFL in there. So uh, yeah. same principle. But anyway, so I just wanted to bring in uh some things and rich has got some stuff and uh, we've got some different things to talk about this is just a standard residential remodel can or i think in the east coast they call them pot lights don't they yeah it's like a yeah. pot light so uh right there see so that's that's what that is so this one you would drill a six inch hole and then this slides up into the let's get that in there there you go so this part all slides up in the hole and then you're left with just looking at this and then that Lovely. that's the part you see so now, what are you gonna do? Um, Trim it. <laughs> light bulb. Yeah, you end up normally you would have put on one of these in there. You would have had a trim, yeah. and then this bulb goes in there. But these are using 65 watts of power. Oh. So do you want you know? And then you've got 10, 15, 20 of these in your house, and that begets, becomes uh, pretty expensive to run that. They came well, out. That's with why the, we went. To, that's why we went to the CFL then, the compact fluorescence, because they only used like 20 watts. Correct. And then they were they, saving energy. Right. And then the, the first Dang. LED light that we used to go into these is this bad boy right here. Yeah, that looks like what, a Cree. That is, yeah, that, that's the original Cree. You remember how much these cost us? What was that, 10, 12 years ago when we, when we got these? Uh, over 100 bucks. They were like $110 a piece. Yeah, these were $110 a piece. And this went, and you can see it has a thread in there, and it would just thread right into this socket right there. You drop it in, and now you'd have that trimmed out. And now you had these LEDs. These would mm -hmm. last a long time. These nice big drivers in them. They did really well. Um, they said they'd last 20 years. And mine, the one I put in over my kitchen sink, I never turned it off. I sold the house. We left. It was on for nine years straight. <laughs> it could still be on for all I know. It, right, I yeah. never asked. <laughs> Yeah, we need to send well, them a note and see if it's still going. With a heat sink like that, I mean, the, the thing's got to be on forever or can be. Right. So, so oh, you guys and, have and said a lot. the insulation in my attic was terrible, so there was plenty of <laughs> space for it to dissipate heat. So you guys have said a lot of wattage. That's what I see on the package when I go and buy something, whether it's an LED yeah. or whatever. Sure. So now does the wattage go based off of the light? It's the wattage in the cottage there, too. brother. Okay. So you actually want Amp less wattage. Watt draw. Watt draw is what it is. And I don't know. Do I have one here? Let me see. Because there's a lot of numbers with, with, with buying a light bulb. You've got your wattage. You've got yes. how much wattage it actually draws. Give me a you've shot got right there. lumens. Yeah, so we're going to talk a little bit about lumens and temperature of light. But Let's, first, we're going to finish up with this whole line of questioning on what is an, a LED light. Right. The LED lights. And then the progression yes. after the, yeah, after we got done with this monster, the next one that came yes. in was this one here. 
And this is the next generation of that. You can see it got a lot smaller already. This mm -hmm. you would twist in, and this just unplugs. So you would twist right. this piece into the socket, and then you would plug it in, thusly. So that was that. And then you take these springs, and it goes in just like a shower light. So you just squeeze those in there, you slide them up in the can, and mm -hmm. boom, done. You're left with that trim now. And that's what you would end up with. And it looks, it looks good, puts out a good amount of light. Mm -hmm. um, and they worked really, really well. So then, after that, the smaller ones, now they're this size, and this right. is for a four inch can, but that's how thick they are now. You can see progressively how they're getting smaller over the years. Sure. And this same plugs in the same way, clips in the same way, and then the... Um, so question get, for you, do you, yep. when you're doing your projects, do you use six inch or four inch cans mostly? We're going to more four inch because these little babies will put out the same amount of lumens as, as some of the six inches and five inches. Mm -hmm. So that's, and, I was going to say the same thing. We're doing all four inch yep. and a lot of our houses cause we're transitional. In other words, we're not doing the old traditional house that has all the arches in it. We're going straight lines, Correct. but we're not exactly contemporary. We're like Miami, all glass and steel. Mm -hmm. So you're transitional. So we have no curvature in the house. So we're using four inch squares. Oh, oh yeah. Cause they make these in squares also. Yeah. Right. So then you're not looking at circles in a bunch of squares, right? Which throws your mind off. So, so this one is also for a four inch and it's just, you spring loaded mm -hmm. and it slides, pull out the old, uh, trim ring and the light bulb. You put this mm -hmm. in there and then you're left with that looking through there. So, um, you can see it's also recessed. It's got really a good look. And then, and then, and then now we're down to these that the, you can, this one is a wafer light it has a separate mm -hmm. driver and you've got a six inch there, don't you? You've got yes. a six, you've got a six. Now inch I wafer. have, but mine has a separate driver and I'll show you why I love these. Right. So this is a brand new six inch wafer led. Yep. But look at this. It's five eighths. Believe it's it or less not, than five it's eighths. less than half an inch thick. Yep. What makes these great is here's the driver. Yep. You pull your wire down through your hole. You take the knockout out. You wire this up. You leave this hang out. And then you can actually snap. You plug this in and you snap this up in the hole. What makes these great is if you hit a ceiling joist or a truss, depending on your framing, right. doesn't matter. Because this will not hit the framing. It's got two spring clamps. You can rotate it a little bit. And you can put, basically now I can put an LED six inch or four inch anywhere I want. Right. So you have a choice. Cool. Look at, here, look at the yeah. difference right oh, there. So yeah. now this, you have to watch out where the floor joists are, where the ceiling joists are. Mm -hmm. And then you're cutting and you're, lay, you're laying these out based on where the floor joists are. When you're going into what Rich has got, it doesn't matter. You just, you, you just take your six inch hole saw and start popping them in. You can lay them out symmetrically and, and it all, it works really great. So well, here's the other thing I like with these. So a six pack of these six inch yeah. right now run roughly $70. So maybe $11 each, right? Uh, your rough in can that you got there is $8. Yep. And then your trim is another 15, right? Which would be this one. Yeah. So you're in the for $26. I'm into this for 11 and I can put it anywhere. Correct. Correct. So again, the, they last for a long, long time. Great lumens, power. It's 12 watts. Yep. 12 yep. watts. What was the original light bulb you showed us? A 65? 65. 65. <laughs> yeah. So, so now, I can, and this is what people don't realize. You could put that one light bulb in uh -huh. or I could daisy chain five of these. Right. On the on same, same circuit. circuit. Yep. Yep. So now math. here's here's math. the last <laughs> math death. Like, go ahead and give me an overshot, overhead shot now. So now you'd say, well, okay, that's great. I like the LEDs, but I want the eyeball. I want a directional directional light. So now they make these. It's a little bit thicker. It's not five eighths mm -hmm. anymore. But see that pivots now. Yep. Ooh. See. Oh yeah. No, they're way ahead of us right now. They've got so all check that this out. stuff so now, available. Now you got that. So now you can actually wall pivot washers. it and, and wall wash with a four inch, no less. 
They do this mm -hmm. for the six also. So if you want the wall wash, it's great. You end up a little thicker one, but that's so that this can pivot thusly. And they have them down to one inch pin lights, you yes. know, that you can use for art lights. And I mean, the, the amount of lighting there, and again, this is not to bash the box store, but you need to go to a lighting showroom, whether, you know, it's, you got to go to a regular showroom that is going to have this stuff. They'll have it on display. You'll purchase it from them or at least go get educated there, but you can purchase it online too. Right. You know, and everything's there, but you need to get an education. So now that we've kind of brought you through the whole list of what these are, let's talk real quick about lumens just to start with. Can you give us a zoom on that one? Or do I need to turn? Well, oh, there you go. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Yes. I love when the camera turns it. Yeah. So your lumens is basically how many candle power. Correct. So if I got a light that's 600 lumens, it's 600 candles that, what, I think they do it at a meter or something. I don't know. It's a goofy number. Correct. We're not here to get that technical. It's, We're just, just trying like to horse let you power, know I guess. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Horsepower, yeah. manpower, it, elbow grease. It's, yeah. <laughs> but you, when you're in the store comparing one six inch LED to another six inch LED, look at the lumens because right. it, you know, that, that's going to, it, it might be, well, this one's cheaper, but it's also putting out half the lumens. So right. you want to, you want to check out the lumens and make sure that you're getting, comparing apples to apples when you're doing that. Right. And then the, you're better off buying a high lumen light that is dimmable. Yep. And putting the proper electronic dimmer on it because you can't use a rheostat. And mm -hmm. I'll leave that up to Ron to explain all the principles of electricity <laughs> regarding that. Because I'm a carpenter and he's an electrician. So I have to yep. know my boundaries <laughs> and put them on the spot. Sure. But, you know, if you buy a, you know, 800 lumen and you think it's too bright, that's great. You put in the, you know, the, the electronic L, uh, dimmer. You could bring it down to 200 lumens. Correct. But at 200, you're not going to crank it up. You can't put it 220 and get 800 out of it. You know, it's right. not going to happen. Exactly. So, so you, on here, we've got, this is a 65 watt equivalent, um, but it's only pulling 12 watts for that mm -hmm. bulb. And then this is a 3000 K, 3000 Kelvin. So you want to talk about that real quick, the, the color of the light? Yeah. So we call it color or temperature. So technically it's technically it's called temperature of light, but it really relates to the color of light. So most light bulbs, your incandescent bulbs were 2,700 to 3000 Kelvin. So, and I believe they call that a cool white, but it gives off a yellow glow. So, you know, when you go to a paint store and you're looking at all the beautiful paint chips at the display and you're sitting there going, that is a beautiful color. And you take it home and that light blue turned green on you. Uh huh. It's your lights. Right. So you have to determine the color of the light that you want to look at. Um, I prefer, and everybody's different, mm -hmm. but most of Europe and myself prefer <laughs> the five to 6,000 K, <laughs> which is basically daylight. Right. Now, part of it, Ron and I talk about this. I spend a lot of time in Florida, and he spends a lot of time in Chicago. In the and because we have a lot more sunny days, I can't walk into a house that has that cool, white, yellow glow. I need that daylight feel. Now, I can still dim it down. It won't change the color of the light. Right. But it will bring out the natural, the real colors of things. Right. So. So and we they, have there's they, everything in between there. So you can get a three thousand is three thousand is the standard we use to install in all of our homes. Mm -hmm. um, I still prefer more to the the five six thousand, but you can still get them at four thousand K, which get you in the middle, which is more of a blue light. So there's nothing wrong with it. You got to go out and buy a couple different Kelvin, couple different temperatures. Try them out and see what suits you. Right. So those wafers, like what you've got, they come now with mm -hmm. a switch. There's an option. You can switch it from 2,700 or 3,000, and they come with that switch on the driver. So you just Get look out on the, of here. No, they do. <laughs> I don't know if yours has got it. But <laughs> no. <laughs> look on the driver. It, 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 no, uh, they should have it up. a... Now I got... Ooh, free wire nuts. And does it have it? That. So, no, actually, it's a sealed driver. Okay. So, but Look, it's yeah. hard to, to install this. It's got a knockout there. Three wires, three wire nuts. Yep. It's got a spring-loaded lid. You wire it together. Boom, done. Nice oh, catch. catch. Hey. All right. right. Good you job. You got that on video. Anyway, and then, yeah, you just jam that up in the ceiling, and then 
the wire place hangs it. out. Don't and I jam just... it up there. Place yeah. it up there. Place. <laughs> yeah. Well, my neighbor's an electrical inspector, and I asked him if those had to be mounted. And he said they do not. Correct. You know, because I didn't know if you had to mount them to a truss or ceiling joist or whatever. Um, but they do not. You're allowed to just lay them up there. Right. As so long as you connect the, the ground wire. Correct. So go ahead and look for those lights. If you're not sure on the color, look for one that has a switchable that goes from 2,700 to 3,000. And, and then that'll, that'll help you with that option, too. So K is that. the Absolutely. color. W is the power. Right. Whether it's the power equivalent or the, the actual draw. power. Okay. And then the lumens. lumens are the brightness. Correct. Okay. Yes. Correct. So if, if this one here, you can see it's 700 lumens, 10 watts. And, um, oh, and then it's a five inch. Then this is a five inch, right? This yeah, is good a luck finding a retrofit. five inch hole saw. No, no, no. This is a retrofit. So if you have a five inch oh. can, that is yeah, yeah. this one right here. Is that a Uno? You know? Yeah. No, it's Juno. Yeah. Juno. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, but that's, and then here's your 2700 Kelvin right here. So mm -hmm. um, it, if you look on the, on the packaging, you'll find all that information. And, and, well, that's uh, what we're trying to do, whether we did it in a very understandable way. Oh, but no, I can't not, tell how many <laughs> times I've been in a box store uh -huh. in the light bulb aisle yep. and have helped people choose light bulbs because <laughs> they're having a house built and the electrician says, yeah, you have to supply the bulbs. So now they're in a, in a box store scrambling to buy bulbs and they have no idea what they're looking at. Ding. You used to just have to go buy one of these. You were done. It was easy. You know, yeah, and if you got a hundred water, you could bake a cake. That's right. <laughs> yeah. But, but I can't, but I can't shake an led and tell if it's bolt is busted or not. Nope. You're right. <laughs> you can't, you can't no. shake them. No, but, they tend to either work or not work. They, there's not a lot of middle, like most of right. electronics. If they last the first year, you're probably good for 20. Right, and it's the driver that ends up going out because of the heat. It's not the LEDs that burn out. You know, uh, it, there's you know a bunch of LED lights in here. One or two of those burn out. It's not the end of the world. It's not as bright as it used to be, but it'll still continue to work. When the driver goes, the driver's done. It's the, you're 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 starting over. So, um, you need a new chauffeur. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> driver's bad. All right. <laughs> All right, are we done? Are we? Here? Yeah. You, you, uh, they're kicking us out of the lighthouse now. That's it. They, yeah. They're coming up the stairs. That's it's it. gonna take. It's gonna take them a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, if you like what you're seeing, make sure you subscribe, click on that bell, and you'll be notified the next time we post a topic. We try to get them out every Thursday night, Friday morning, somewhere in there. And mm -hmm. uh, if there's a topic you want to hear about, make sure you uh, send us. Sign a note. up for the newsletter, and he'll oh, let yeah. you know. When it's coming out or whatever. Yeah, pick, right. our, pick our next location. That, oh, oh, there you go. There you can do that too. That's it. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. So thanks a lot. Thanks to the Niles Design District. And uh, we'll see you next week. Until next oh, time. Oh, that's right. Keep it square and well, level. Keep it square and level. Next time. I, we've only been doing this 14 years, man. I don't. I don't. Well, One of these days. because we got it, it right last week. That's what it was. Is that what it is? <laughs> last week we got it right. So that's, that's it. Oh, well, yeah. You can only do that once a month. Located on Milwaukee Avenue, the Niles Design District is a home improvement destination for consumers, designers, and contractors. For those looking to renovate a kitchen or a bathroom, expand with a new addition, or enhance their curb appeal, the Niles Design District in Niles, Illinois offers everything in one convenient location. It's your road to a better home.